Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Wednesdays at 3. I'm Danielle Bowden with the Realtors Association of the Palm Beaches, and I'm here today with David Reed with App Files. Welcome, David. Thank you. I'm really, really happy to be here. No problem. So App Files is a new affiliate with the association, so we're very excited. Um, as you all know, I'm very high tech. So I love that we have a, a techie um, new affiliate and his product is so incredible that I really think that um, all of our members are going to really enjoy it. And he has um, brought his business, he's moving his business over to this area along with um, a couple other guys that you yep. founded this company with. And they're moving over, you were in Fort Myers right. predominantly before. So they're moving their business um, more towards the Palm Beach County area, so we're very excited to have them. Well, we're very happy to be here. Thank you. So let's talk about um, what your product is. Give everybody a little synopsis. AppFiles is a virtual office software that makes it really easy for individuals, teams, or even entire brokerages to be able to go paperless very easily and be able to collaborate and work with their information. So there's a lot of tools built in that makes um, the entire office is very efficient. Great, and um, you know that it's all about having everything you know online and make you efficient, so you have more time to get out there and sell and do all the things that you're supposed to do as a realtor, and for the broker to allow them more time to be able to train their agents and and uh, focus on their office running. So it's great to have something that can alleviate a little bit of stress off of our lives, right? Paperwork is sometimes. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> and so I know you've been busy training. You've been training over a thousand agents in the past three months. That's very yeah, exciting. That's a lot of people. Definitely had a great reaction. That's great. So what? Um, why do you think it's, it's been so popular? Well, I think that, that App Files really, the goals of App Files and the benefits really fall into three specific categories. And I think those are categories that really resonate with people's frustration that they're having dealing with their information today. First, it's about, our first goal is to centralize all of the information that, that the people need to work with. And that goes, for, from a paperless standpoint, it goes way beyond just, just scanning. Um, it's obviously all of your documents, you know, as they, you know, are fully executed or you're, you're working through them. It's also all the forms. So the goal is, is a lot of people have different tools that they use, but they have to hop around and, and they have to log into multiple different things. So being able to centralize that, so it's the documents, it's the forms, it's your photos. If you have, if you take extra photos of a property and you want to be able to share those. Um, it's also a communications log. So just like you and I, we each and everyone here, we all have email addresses. Mm -hmm. A particular app file, which would be a listing or a closing or a, you know, some type of pending transaction, each file has its own individual email address as well. Mm -hmm. So it makes it very easy if you have an email coming in that's related to a particular transaction, you just forward it into that file. So especially if you're on a team or if, if you are working together you know, with the broker, um, everyone gets to see those communications. And if you have a listing that you've had for three, four months and you need to go back and see, it's very easy in one place to see all of that information, all your emails as well as the phone log. So you get a chance to see all of that together with all the documents. So in one place, you really get a good overview. The second feature of App Files that I think people have really responded to is the fact we provide a lot of tools that make it easy to work with this digital information. Um, now that all your documents are scanned and now all your photos are in galleries, you know, typically it becomes much more difficult to, if you just want to say grab two or three pages from this document, combine them together with a few pages from another and send it off. Um, people would have to again have different programs for that. So we have document editing software built right into app file. So if you need two or three pages, you want to combine documents together, you can create a table of contents and combine That's multiple nice. documents together. You can also, there's photo editing software built in. Mm -hmm. So the basics, if you need to crop, rotate, resize, wow. all of those things can be done without having to use and learn another software like Photoshop or something like that. Right, and just the things that you mentioned, you would have been all over in different programs to take care of all that. 
and the combining documents, and that's like an Adobe professional right. um, type of, of option, and that's exp that's very expensive. So this is all, everything's all built into one. Exactly, and plus it means people don't have to learn different software. What we found is that multitasking has, has really gotten to a point, especially with certain people, I'm one of those that, I pr prefer to focus when I work. Mm -hmm. And so if I have one place where all of my information is, and my tools are right there, mm -hmm. so I'm not constantly having to down, you know, to save things, open up another file, you know, software to be able to edit them and right. then save again and then be able to combine. If I can put it all in one place, mm -hmm. I'm much more efficient. And I don't find that I have to hop around so much and, mm -hmm. and I'm able to get things done a lot more effectively. And, and the last thing I think that works really well, especially when you start talking about teams mm -hmm. and entire brokerages, is the collaboration features. It's very easy to be able to do basic collaboration features like create a task associated with a listing or again, any transaction mm -hmm. and be able to assign it to someone. Mm -hmm. um, so people are using that to be able to turn in their paperwork. Um, so they're not having to you know, send their paperwork additionally. Um, you can give access to a particular file to, serve, to another person and share it. And then you can create a task that says, hey, look over it, I think it's ready, you know. That's great. So it's, it's a great option for a brokerage, for, for a broker yes. to keep organized. Um, and it's nice too, I mean, imagine being a broker and being able to be out of town and log in online and you can see right. the full transactions of what everything, you know, everything going on in that transaction from the realtor end from the contract coordinator end, right. if you maybe have a contract coordinator within the team, your uh, secretary, you know, there's a lot of people that can all access that same information. And just to give you an idea visually of how it looks like, because I've seen a presentation, it um, it's just like your Internet Explorer where you can have tabs open. So if you, as a contract coordinator or whatever it may be, have multiple files, it's so nice because you can have each file open in a new tab because each one gets a, a, a web address, exactly. right? Exactly. And, and, and it, I always hated it when you're in and a software, familiar. a phone call comes in and you have to get out of what you're working right. on to go into something else. And so that was something we felt very strongly about. Mm -hmm. Just like on your desk, you may have four or five different files you're working at in different areas you have the ability to have all those open. So even if you need to compare something between two files, right. it's right there. Yeah, it's very um, it's very visually familiar with the tabs and the social stream. It's almost like a, a Facebook kind of thing where you've got the social stream of everybody that's collaborating. It's, uh, it's a very um, visually easy to kind of navigate. Absolutely, so yeah, the collaboration features we definitely see. One of the things that I wanted to mention, because we, we've seen this from a lot of brokers, is they're, they're able to use it for their recruiting process. Mm -hmm. The fact that they're able to now work differently. Mm -hmm. And so in a lot of brokerages, it, there was definitely a culture where people wanted to be able to help each other, whether somebody maybe hasn't done a certain type of tra transaction, mm -hmm. maybe it'd be a short sale or something like that, you know, recently, or a new agent has mm -hmm. recently come into the, into the industry. So this allows you to both be able to look at the same file at the same time, and whether it's filling out a form or everything else, you can literally see each other working in it at the same time. So if there were questions that arise, it's very easy just to get somebody on the phone or to send them a link to the file and say, can you look at this? I, I got a few questions oh, to make sure things are done right ahead of time yeah. before anything gets signed. Especially with the liability that you're Absolutely. dealing with with contracts. Uh, very interesting. So it sounds like to me that paperless is definitely more than just scanning documents with your product. You take it to another level. Right. I think that one of the things that we've been involved in is, you know, helping companies go paperless mm -hmm. for a long time now. I mean, since the mid-90s and that kind of that original let's go green that, right. that happened in, in the mid-90s. And a lot of times back then people started with just scanning it. Mm -hmm. What we all learned as an industry across the board was when you just scan your paperwork, it goes from being relatively static in a paper file mm -hmm. to now just being stuck in a, in a directory somewhere on some hard drive. Right. And so it pretty much was static in both cases. And in, in many cases, it was more difficult to work with because now you had all the computer hoops to jump through mm -hmm. to just be able to access your paperwork. Mm -hmm. So we, a lot of, in many cases, those systems didn't, weren't successful, mm -hmm. you know. So as, a, as an industry, I think we've all realized that to be able to be truly successful at helping a company get over that hurdle 
you know, of being able to be truly digital, you have to consider all of the different types of information um, that it was. So, I mean, we go back, I, I remember we had a manufacturing business back in the early 80s, and I remember everything was paper back then. I mean, there were no PCs, there was no cell phones. That was before fax machines. So all of our correspondence was typed, and we put a copy in the file, and then the other one went in the mail, mm -hmm. you know, in an envelope with a stamp thick on it. Files. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but when you looked at that thick file, it had everything, whether it was our correspondence and all of our documents, of course. But it was also, you know, photos. We always went to a little photo mat and got double prints made. I don't remember even the last time I printed photos mm -hmm. in the last to what, eight, nine yeah, years? Yeah. Um, so what we found is as we moved forward digitally and as the email replaced the fax machine and, and the written letter, all of our information, as it became more digital, as photos and all of each one of these, it became spread out. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that, uh, unless you looked closely and you really realized that we went from having all of our information centralized, mm -hmm. where, yeah, it was physical, so we had to share the physical file, but you could get to it. Right. You knew what everything was, and if you needed to know what someone else had done on a file, typically it was right there. Mm -hmm. To now, that information is spread out all over the place. Cell phone communication happens between two individuals. It usually doesn't come into a centralized phone mm -hmm. system anymore. Right. So you're always calling people just to get them to recount to you what they had recently talked about on the phone. And so we realized that we needed to put all this stuff back together again because when all this stuff became distributed, it put walls in between individuals working together. It made it very difficult to work in a team environment and mm -hmm. truly help people out. Mm -hmm. You would hear things like, if you know, it was, it's more difficult to explain it to you than for me to just do it myself. Mm -hmm. um, well, once that information is brought together, it's a lot easier for people to work together. Yeah. So yeah, it definitely goes way beyond just the paper portion. Mm -hmm. You really have to look at all the information, which is your correspondence, your phone calls, your documents, and your forms, which are really internal. That's how you move information mm -hmm. around and how you, you know, capture it. Right, right. Um, and so does your system use the cloud for storage? Yes, absolutely. We, we would be considered one of the, the cloud computing. Um, you know, obviously, I mean, it's definitely a marketing term that everybody uses. Yeah, there's not literally a cloud right. out there that's holding all of your information. It, well, and to be honest, <laughs> it's, it's still the same. It's the same servers we've always used. Right, you know, yeah. it, it's just... Um, Some people are putting information on there rather than on their computer now. Right, they don't. One of the, the benefits is, you know, twofold. Um, first of all, it means that you're easy to access from any location. Mm -hmm. With app files, you can look up one of your files at anywhere, any mm -hmm. internet computer that you have access to. But that also means from from your digital, from the from the smartphones, mm -hmm. like an iPhone, that's what I have, right. um, as well as from the tablets. We're working, you know, very diligently to complete a, a very, you know, advanced tablet version that is going to allow you to pretty much run your entire operations right from the tablet. Everything from filling out forms and even the signatures, you know, all the way through being able to look up all your emails and everything else. That's great because uh, our members are really adapting to the technology and a lot of them are getting the tablet. So right. it's, it's always important to, you know, everything that's new, it seems like you go, well, does it work on the tablet or does it work on the iPad? You know, right. does it work on the iPhone? So well, they're definitely, great. the hardware people have been helping us out. I mean, they've put out a lot of really good mm -hmm. tablets lately and yeah. you know then it's it gets kicked over to the software mm -hmm. people's of uh, you know responsibility right, to do something with it. So so for those that are unfamiliar, so the cloud that you hear all the time that's basically just instead of keeping everything on your computer in your memory as you usually do your pictures in a, my pictures file and your documents in a, my documents file and nobody else can access them and you can't get to them anywhere else but if you're sitting in front of your computer the cloud allows you to have things stored in this big server um, where you can access it from anywhere so that's the benefits to these cloud you know type Right. Things that you hear about all the time. One of the indirect benefits, especially um, that, that people can get that you don't hear a lot about, mm -hmm. is the fact because it is a cloud technology and it runs on our group of eight servers, mm -hmm. it's possible. We do two to three updates to the software every week, mm -hmm. and we do them based on specifically there's an area within the software that the users can give us feedback as well as tell us things they'd like for it to do, and we actually do that. I mean, um, so. 
we, if we were having to ship out CDs, right. you know, to everybody so that they could load it on their own computers, those that type of rapid updating wouldn't be possible. That's great. So that's a, that's definitely a benefit that you're going to see, which is software that's developed for the you know in the cloud environment can adapt. can adapt much quicker to the needs because business changes. I mean, how many changes so have we quickly. seen just in the past couple of years so in real quickly. estate? Yeah. Um, so to be able to keep up with it, it's one of the things that we need to do. Plus, it allows us to do you know go beyond what typically what users would be would do themselves mm -hmm. for backup. So we have a lot of backup things in place. You know, literally three different ways that we back up the data every day. That's important to know that your information is protected. Absolutely. And there. I think probably one of the other things that people you know are always concerned about when they're going to put their information on somebody's server is how easy is it to get out? Right. And so there's very it's very easy for you to once a file is completed to be able to download that entire file and get all of your forms, your communication log, all that information back out. We personally don't look to trap anyone's data. Mm -hmm. You know, we build our company on just making it easier to work with your data. Mm -hmm. You know, rather than making it difficult to get it out in the end. We've, so there's a number of different ways. They're all very simple mm -hmm. to get it, and it's in a format you can use. Mm -hmm. I always hate it when people say you can get it out, but then when you get to that process, right. it's in a format that you can't use. Right. So we use industry standard PDFs. We don't alter the photo files. They're all exactly okay. the way you put them in. We can you can pull them out again. Oh, good, good. Absolutely. That's good to know. And um, so what about some of these other type of cloud type uh, products? <clears throat> For instance, um, DocuSign is something that a lot of our members are familiar right. with because NAR um, uses DocuSign and promotes that to their members. So can DocuSign work with app files? Absolutely, especially because um, the the new the new feature from DocuSign allows and pretty much anybody, mm -hmm. any real estate agent to you know, sign up to you know five packets per month for free. So once that came out, we're we're working. We're just now finalizing the full integration between App Files and DocuSign. Mm -hmm. So whether it's whether it's a form you're filling out for the first time, or whether it's something where half of the parties have already signed it, and now you're looking to have mm -hmm. your party sign it, DocuSign digitally. Right. Um, yes, all the full integration. Um, so there's a. Plus, we also are, are finishing up just recently um, the integration for any of the online faxing. Mm. Most of the online faxing Good. have a very easy way for us to be able to interact with them. So there's a lot of other tools out there, and we so can use that. Um, with MLS provides a service called Mongo Fax. Yep. Um, so that one, uh, a lot of our members use. And okay. That's an e-faxing. So Absolutely. Um, I believe <laughs> Charlotte County provides that as well. So we already have customers over Good. there that are, that are integrated with Great. it. But yeah, so when we talk about a lot of these other cloud systems that are out there, whether it's you know DocuSign or you know the different faxing services mm -hmm. or or even you know Dropbox, these are some things that way we look at it. I mean, we use Dropbox ourselves as a company, mm -hmm. it, and it's great you know for what it you know for what it does. I mean, for the ability to just synchronize a few files you know back and forth between your different devices, right. you know, it's great. Um, typically, most of our customers. You know they'll use app files for when it's a transaction mm -hmm. because it allows you to leave comments, allows right. you to again assign tasks, as well as be able to interact with the documents. Mm -hmm. Again, as you said, it's like having Adobe Professional built right into your software. Yeah. Um, but there's always certain types of files. You know whether you know it's a video. You know typically videos are very large and, mm -hmm. and they work really well in Dropbox. Uh -huh. So if you've taken a, a video of a particular property right. or, or something you want to you know present to someone, it's very easy to put it in Dropbox and share it, mm -hmm. or at least get it moved to another computer very easily. Mm -hmm. um, it's about using the best tools that are out there, mm -hmm. and we we hope that the days are done when a new software comes into your life like a bull in a china shop, and now that I'm here, everything's got to mm -hmm. change. So we try to make sure that our software is very flexible because we're not looking to displace necessarily any of the tools that are mm -hmm. that are out there where they're working successfully. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to try to fit around them, you know, so that we can integrate with them. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of different ways, and we're always looking for those new software that our users are bringing to us, saying this works very well for this. Mm -hmm. um, how can we integrate with it? We're not always looking to just replace. That's great, and that that leads into um, a good point about how your company does business. You do business very different than a lot of other companies do, and um, you, know, you can tell them a little bit about that. I mean, you you will actually come into the client's offices and sit down and really, what are your needs? You know, what right. do you need to do? How can we work with you to adapt that? So 
Um, it's a very flexible product. Well, we definitely have a we have a commitment to working locally. I think a lot of software companies are all you know about going to the website and just signing up and you know here's here's a webinar to, mm -hmm. to be able yeah. to kind yeah. of yeah. figure it out. Ever meet face to face. But. In our case, you know, you typically it's about working with the customer to figure out how it's going to work for them. Mm -hmm. You know, while we've dealt with over a thousand agents just in the last couple of months, everybody's a little different. Mm -hmm. You know, and everybody you know has some different concerns about how it's going to work for them. Right. We take that time. You know, all of our training is done in small groups on site. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, and I feel you know very very comfortable that that's how our company is going to is going to work. Everybody's got different types of questions, and typically we find that in groups of four to six, people are comfortable enough, mm -hmm. and they don't think their question is only there. So, right. you know, they're willing to, you know, talk about it, and, and we have a really good dialogue that goes back and forth. And um, it doesn't take a long time. The software is very easy to use, but so usually we learn about how to use the software in the first 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. But the next 45 minutes talks about again how that brokerage has chosen to implement it, how they're going to turn in their files. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the other types of questions that arise, which is, what if I happen to be out at a listing presentation and I just get a vibe that I need to handwrite this contract? Is that still going to work with your system? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, we believe that any software system in our automated system needs to do what we call elegantly degrade. Mm -hmm. So if you can't use it, if for some reason, if you happen to you know, break your computer last night and you have your listing appointment this morning, okay. Can you still go back to the way business was done mm -hmm. and then just scan it in later or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. So those are the types of questions we get. So people feel that they're comfortable, that they know under the different crazy scenarios that might come up that it's still going to work. Mm -hmm. That's great. So you're not calling another country for technical support. You're not calling another state even. Um, you could actually call somebody that's local right. that can come and, and really. You know, well, and we've done a, we've sat with the brokerage, you know, and the different administrators and, and key agents, and we've done a business assessment before we ever get to training. Mm. So we know a lot about where that what that brokerage's goals are, you know, and how they're going to use it. And we've mm. recorded that and we keep it in our file, mm. you know, for each one of our customers. Mm. So as we develop features, we know who to talk to, mm -hmm. but we take the time. I mean, that's our consulting background. Right that we actually take the time to really get to know the customer so that we understand what their goals are. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, here's a product, figure it out. Right. We actually you know, customize it and set it up before they ever even begin training and begin using it. And that's really something that you don't see um, as often anymore, and I think that's a really important part of your company is that personal service. Right, and I, think it's, I think it's critical. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we take a long-term view, we, and we have another product as well, and are typically our customers with that product has been with us five, six, seven mm -hmm. years. So again, we really do look at it as long-term relationship. Great. and. We want to make sure everyone has a great experience and kick it off, mm -hmm. kick it off right in the Good. beginning. Good. Well, if you um, are interested in hearing more about App Files, you can certainly give David a call if you want to give a number that they can reach you at. You can call 239-283-3252, uh, as well as you can go to the website. We have an 800 number on there. I urge you, really do contact us. I mean, our goal is um, we're going to be contacting you know every broker that we can and. and in the Palm Beach area mm -hmm. over the next few months, but our goal really is to meet with people. Um, hopefully people aren't intimidated mm -hmm. and you know, it's not a pushy sales call. Yeah. It's really an investigation and we get to answer a lot of questions. That's, mm -hmm. that's really what it is, is people have questions. They may have tried to go paperless in the past or they want to understand you know, the cloud stuff. So we do a lot of, of that in our, in our, in our sales calls. So, so hopefully we'll get a chance to meet with each and every one of you. Um, again, we're, we're moving over to this area, so it's our goal to meet with everybody. Okay, and what's the website? Website is appfiles.com, A-P-P-F-I-L-E-S.com. Great, and you can also find uh, their information on our website because they're an affiliate with the association. So under our affiliate section of RAPB.com, you can get to them there as well. Excellent. Well, thank you, David. Um, so pleasure, or pleasure having you on, and I'm um, really excited about your affiliate membership with the association. And thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you again next week for another edition of Wednesdays at 3.